Good morning to everyone. Hope everyone is having a wonderful start on this Memorial Day. I probably should have put that in the title, but I didn't. Um, anyways, um, just got up to tell you that uh, <laughs> this has been a crazy, tumultuous weekend. And ironically, I won again, you know. <laughs> I was gonna wake up and I was gonna be mad and everything, but I just had to think, you know, sometimes you just gotta put your best foot forward and keep going. But anyways, um, good morning, everyone. Perion, I still have to send you this letter. I will explain in just a moment. Anyways, you all, I got up and it's been a crazy weekend, a crazy previous week, um, finding out that, um, my grandmother's sister has cancer, uh, possibly has cancer, or whatever the case may be. It's just been crazy, and um, no, I don't have it, thank the Lord. Um, but it's just been weird watching all of this. Um, okay, got you, period. Thank you. Uh, okay was watching all of this and just how family members will you know when they don't do what they're supposed to do in the interim of everything that happens and before you know you watch how people get emotional with things okay that makes sense you watch how people get emotional with things so anyways um, um, in the midst of this whole move in the midst of this whole move um, I won. <laughs> I won. Baby, I still got a smile on my face. I had to drive to Memphis by myself. Um, I had to drive back from Memphis by myself. And I came back to Florida. Um, legs swole, feet swole, feeling swole, fat, everything. And I'm just like, hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you just got to take in those situations and you just got to make the best of it. You just got to make the best of it. I told my grandmother, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I told my grandmother, I said, um, I told my grandmother, I said, Granny, I said, no matter what goes on with Auntie, I said, you, you have to put a smile on your face and be encouraged because you know, God allows things to happen for a reason. And y'all, generational curses are real. You know, what you sow in your life, it will come back and get you. Hear me. It will come back and get you. That's the truth. It will come back and get you. Um, oh, I'm doing good, Ronald. I'm doing good. So, uh, you all, just pray for my family. Uh, this is a crazy situation. Hey, evangelist. Hey, Julian. Good morning. Um, uh, this is a crazy situation. Something very much so unexpected. Um, but I'm just getting home a couple days ago. As soon as I got here, was working again just like that. And it's been crazy. It's been crazy. But you know what? This is why I'm king. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is why I'm king. When you're a king, you got to do what you got to do to make things happen. Um, anyways, um, yeah, pray for all of us in, in all of this. And um, we're going to have strength. We're going to have strength. And so anybody who is dealing with anything in their family, I'm just being dead serious. Like, I'm actually dealing with an older person who happens to have gotten a, a sickness in their life. Not a young person, okay? Not a young person. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah, we, we pray, I pray for everybody who is dealing with anything in their life, any situation, any type of thing, whatever the case may be. I've been saying this for a long time. I've been saying this for a long time and ironically, no one seems to want to hear it or get it, whatever the case may be, but y'all, we've got to do better. And regardless of whatever you believe, however you believe, whatever the case may be, and I know I talk about my my brothers and sisters, my fools. 
I know I talk about. <laughs> hey, cousin, what's up? What's up, JD? I know I talk about my brothers and sisters a lot, but y'all, we've got to live better. We've got to do better in our life. You know, we, we, and I feel this thing itching me, but y'all, if we don't, if we don't do better in our life, yes, we're going to check up out of here real quick. Yep, real quick. We eat all the things that we're not supposed to be eating, and ironically, it's the stuff that has all kind of bacteria and foolishness in it, and we just continue to eat it. And it's just like we check up out of here. And then we pray to God, we pray to Jesus to fix it, and then it's like, well, we going to accept whatever his will is. Yeah, you're right. You doggone skip it. You're going to accept whatever his will is. Because it's like I've given you chance and chance and opportunity to do what you're supposed to do. And you still will not do it. You still won't do it, you know. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I love my family really, truly, dearly. And um, I thought about on so many cases how I can just get on here and just read the socks off the people. But it's like, what's up, Chris? It's like, what is the point? What is the point? I, you know, honestly, you get to a point in life where you get tired of battling, but you still got to fight. Um, I guess y'all came on because y'all thought, you know, I was going to say I had some something wrong with me. No. If anything, I'm fat. <laughs> if anything, I'm fat. I'm fat and I've got to lose this weight, baby. I've been stressed and ironically, I've not been eating, but I'm gaining weight. I just think that's weird. <laughs> um, what is up? What's up, Javante? What is up? Um, praise God for everybody. Praise God for everybody. Um, whew. y'all pray my strength in the Lord. But yeah, anyways, um, come on, South Cali. Um. Yes, we are up, and so I just want you guys just to be encouraged today. Be encouraged from me. Be encouraged from me. Okay, get get, get your encouragement from me today. That um, no matter the situation that you're going through, be encouraged. Um, when we got when I got the news, and me and my grandmother went to the hospital. Um, me and my grandmother went to the hospital. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to uh, inbox you because I need to, I want to dye some of this stuff and um, I want a white spot right here, whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, we got the news the other day and I, I know I said to my cousin Nisha, I wasn't going to, hey, Martha, good morning. Um, I, saw, I told her, I was like, you know, I'm not going to do nothing on Facebook, I'm whatever. But um, I just... I want the people to know that I do love mine and I want this, you know, the real folks who know how to pray to pray. That's what I want you to do, to pray. If you, if you, the Bible says, the Bible say that the prayers of the right, the righteous availeth much. So I want the prayers of the righteous, folks who actually can touch heaven, not to see one. Pray, you know, pray that the will of the Lord be done. Pray that, you know, um, that, you know, my aunt comes through, and if she does not, if she does not, baby, we're going to celebrate. Why? Because this is a life. This is a life, and we're going to praise God, and God be glorified. You know, this is not the time for folks to get out here and get to putting family secrets out. This is not the time to get out here and be just cutting up and cussing folks out. Baby, listen here. At this point in life, listen, all you can do all you could do is do the best to remember the good, love on your family members, and go on. Because we're fighting for dumb stuff. We're fighting because of dumb stuff. Do you hear me? We're fighting because you did this to me a long time ago. And you did this to me a long time ago. And I remember when. And you said such and such and such a thing. And such a... Listen here, seriously. Listen here. You can fight all day long. You can fight all day long. But death 
seals the deal. When that person or these people or you or whatever die, that's a wrap. There's no more I'm sorry. There's no more I love you. There's no more none of that. Because death comes and it says, all right, that's, this chapter is closed. You can never say I'm sorry anymore, okay? You can never say please forgive me. You can never do that. You can never do that. What happens is, when a person goes, uh huh, when a person goes, that's it. So you better get your I love yous in now. What's up, Chanel? Good morning, big sis. You better get your I love yous in now. You better get your please forgive me in now. Because for all family members, it ain't just talking about mine, but for all family members who have done family members wrong. You've stolen from family, you took from family, you, you hoodwinked and bamboozled. Baby, you better go ask for forgiveness. You better go say, I love you. You better go say something because when they're gone, they're gone. This is the reason why church is the way that it is because home life is jacked up. See, see, the Bible says this, charity starts at home. Hey, Miss Sheila, charity starts at home. Then spreads abroad. I love you too, Chanel. Charity starts at home, then spreads abroad. See, you can't sit up here and want to come in the church house and want to preach and uh, and a woe and a win alone. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. And then want to go home and don't speak to your wife, don't speak to your husband, don't speak to your kids. You got a hateful and tanker spirit and all this other stuff like that. You can't do that. You just can't do it. It won't work. And God will not honor that. Hear me. God will not honor that. The creator will not honor that. Yah will not honor that. And so Miss Rose made a comment the other day. She said, Mario, I miss you teaching. What happened to the teacher? What happened to the teacher, Mario? And I said this a while ago. I said this on my teeth on, on one of my videos. I said, Miss Rose, I said, the reason why I don't do those things anymore, or as like I was, is because some people don't just really don't care for it. They really don't care for it. So I teach it in a way that's subliminal and people have to have to just catch it. Cause that's what Yeshua, that's what Jesus did too. Jesus gave parables and little stories, and baby, you just had to catch it, catch it in the spirit, okay? So, um, yeah, baby, with your family members, baby, pray, pray for mine, pray for yours, and we're going to go on. Death is inevitable, it's inevitable, okay? Um, I looked at my aunt as she was laying there on the, um, the, in the bed, and, I mean, of course, I was emotional. Of course, we all was emotional. Me and my cousin, Nisha, we were sitting there watching everybody come in and out the room, in and out the room, in and out the room. You know, you seen the cousin coming out. Oh, Lord. <gasps> I mean, honey, it was just, it was a mess. You know, honey, I'm having to kick folks out the room. I'm having to tell folks, look, get your purse and go on. I'm, I look... At this point, I'm already cussing because I'm like, you're doing the most in the hospital, okay? You're doing the most. But it was it was moments that we all had to laugh. Like, we were sitting there, and um, while the doctors was, you know, doing her medicine and everything like that, um, we asked, um, you know, do you want your daughter to come in? You know, and I was like, you know, do you, do you want Andy to come in? You know, bat, you know. If you want her to come in, so she up there. I was like, okay, you know, let's go on down and go get, let's go get in, let's go get in. And I said, uh, I said, Auntie, you want uh, your sister to come in? I said, do you want, um, you you want my grandma to come in? I said, bat, if you want her to come in, baby. She did them eyes so fast. She said, I said, wait. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, wait. I said, can you do that one more time? <laughs> I said, can you do it one more time? Like, just do it one more time. Like, one more time. Can you, like, can you do it again? Because, like, that just tickled me. 
I said, do you want your you want your sister to come in? I said, because she down the hallway. I said, auntie, I said, bat your eyes if you want your sister to come shit. <laughs> so I went on down there and got her sister, right? Um, <sighs> so, you know, she came on down there. We had good laughs, y'all. And, you know, I hate the fact that I'm not there because y'all know I'll be at the hospital with my laptop every day working. What's up, Lionel? Um, Good morning. That's Lionel. Lionel. Sorry, baby. Sorry. Um, Hey, Kimma. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. If I missed you. Hey, David. Uh, Bruce. Oh, that's uh, Pastor D'Armond. Hey. What's up, Shay? Um, All of you good people. Joseph. Uh, all y'all who just came on, good morning. What's up, Kareem? Good morning. Good morning. So, um, yeah, y'all, I, I'm, we're having to laugh. We're having to laugh in the midst of this because I said this before in one of my videos and I said it again. What's up, Mike? I said this before and I said it again. Baby, the old generation is dying out and I think I'm going to preach this one day. Maybe in the hair, maybe not in the hair. I don't know. But I'm going to preach this one day. Hey, Sharon, uh, Sister Jackson, good morning. Jermaine, uh, good morning. Hey, y'all. What I'm going to preach this one day is that what are you leaving? What are you leaving to, your, to the next generation? Because, ironically, we do have family secrets. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. What's up, hey, we're good morning. We do have family secrets. And baby, we got generational curses. Do you hear me? And baby, I have to tell you, what are you leaving behind? What are you leaving behind? Because we have a mess that's going on and we don't fix it. And so we end up just passing along to the next generation. So, um, again, we're good at praying. Hey, Nicole, good morning. Hey, Nikita, good morning. What are you leaving to the next generation? So in the midst of all of this, you know, all um, we're leaving at this point, we're leaving um, just nasty eating habits, uh, nasty living lifestyles. Um, we don't we don't take care of our children. We don't take care of our families. For those of you who are married, you get married because you you get, you do it for the sake of acceptance. And, and all we do is we pass this stuff along to the next generation. We don't teach our children how to be disciplined. We don't teach our children how to have order and structure in our lives and everything. Hey, Charlene, we don't teach us. Hey, Miss Vonda, we don't teach our children none of these things. So when we're sick and we have cancer and we got diabetes type 1, 2, and 3, and 4, whatever the case may be, honey, all we do is we pass this along and what do we say? We're going to pray to Jesus. We're going to pray to Jesus because he's going to heal us. He's our healer. And we go right back. What's the elder Lorraine? What's the elder Hewitt? We go right back. To doing the same thing all over again. Ain't that stupid? Ain't that stupid, baby? Oh, Father God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Yes, God. I mean, honey, we do it. What's up, Carmen? We do it. We do it. Hey, Lisa Power, we do it. And we go right back to doing the same thing again. So what, what, we, what we're praying for, we keep indulging in it and it keeps killing us. You know, I mean, we could talk like, uh, seriously, like real talk, real talk, like real talk. Listen, we could talk about all the do's and don'ts of what the Bible say. But see, the Bible came, what, two, three thousand years ago. But this world has been here a long time. And the and the ordinance and the things and the precepts that we have supposed to be living by, we don't. So then I ask the question, why is it that people live thousands, hundreds of years and then they die just, you know, whatever. 
because we chose to be disobedient. We chose to eat crazy stuff. We chose, hey, Jeffrey, good morning. We chose to do all this stuff. And then, ironically, we go back and we want to fall on our knees and we want to pray. And we want to robo koshi kondo do robo ramando. Pray in your heavenly language. Baby, I don't care. Hey, Michael, good morning. I don't care how much you pray in your heavenly language. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't care how much you pray in your heavenly language. If you still doing wrong, eating wrong, putting wrong stuff in your body, baby, it's, it's the inevitable is going to happen to you. Now, they told us, and even the white doctors say, and I'm going to say it just like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The white doctors said that you don't need to eat pork. So what they do, <laughs> inject you with some insulin. What's up, Kirby? I need to holler at you anyways. Anyways, um, they inject you with pork insulin and insulin, things like that. And then we end up doing the same thing. We go from the doctor. Doctor say, well, ma'am, sir, don't eat this. Don't eat that. Oh, I got to have this. <laughs> do you not, wait a minute. Am I speaking Ebonics here? Am I speaking... I know you y'all only understand English, but there's an that there's I mean I am I speaking another language right now? Do not. Cedric, what's up? Good morning. Do not eat this stuff. Baby, you go back out and we're gonna have a baby, this is Memorial Day. Honey, what's up, George? Honey, we're gonna eat us some scrumps, some crab balls, we're gonna have us some a lobster, some pork, some ribs, some fat back. We're gonna have all of that. We gonna have all of that, Tanika. You said you're guilty, <laughs> baby. I, I listen here. I am not listening. I, if 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 I check out of here, it won't be because I have counsel. So, so what I'm saying is this: if and when y'all want to live long and get your mind right and get it together. What's up, Latanya? And get it together. All this other stuff like this. Hey, Sean. Sean, you know I'm not going to check out of here. Don't you play with me today. <laughs> What's up, Robert? Um, Hey, Ashley. Girl, where is our drinks? Where's our drinks at? Um... Baby, listen, let's 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 try to get ourselves together. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Lamar, let's try to get ourselves together. You know, like, I mean, I know skinny is not everything. You know, everybody's not going to be skinty. We not. Everybody's not going to be fat. But, I mean, I want to be whatever size that I'm supposed to be healthy. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I brought my beloved. That's what it said, beloved. Beloved. I wish above all that you would prosper and be in good health. Even I wish above all that you would prosper. Hey, Antonio, and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. So what is that saying? I don't know why, Charlene, you keep calling me sub, but that's okay, though. Hey, I love you anyways. It is what it is. I mean, hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I wish above all that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper, right? So if you're supposed to be prospering and being in good health, so what's up, Kendrick? So what does that mean? We got we to gotta do better in our life. What's up, Emmanuel? Hey, Kendrick. We got to do better in our life, y'all. Like, seriously. We got to do better in our life. We got to do better in what we eat. We got to do better in relationships. We got to do better in, 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 in even in ministry. Because I went to a church the other night, and it's just like, baby, I mean, seriously. Baby, we were shouting and dancing, and we was hiccup my sando, robo, shataya, see? We was doing all of this and then turn right around after the praise break, baby, half the church was gone. I was like, 
Wait, and I had went to the bathroom, right? Because I need to get some water. Because, honey, when I tell you, I, I danced to times got better. And I got my fix. <laughs> I was something very just... Uh, but we danced. Hey, Robert, Roderick, hey. Dance to time. Baby, I'm telling you, I danced so the other day. Baby, what I tell you, I'm talking about like, I'm talking about all of this was down. I mean, I, 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 baby, listen here. You know, I was, I did my best to pin this up. I did my best. I said, Lord, I don't want to be in the church house and I don't want to be like, uh, William McCray was when he had that big old wig on and he was just, baby, I'm telling you something, baby, this, this ponytail came out. A hundred, we, we went broke for, for the Lord. You hear me? We went broke. We went broke. Cedric, I know that's right. You better speak over your life. So anyways, baby, I came back from getting some water. What's up, Maurice? I came back from getting some water, baby. Half church is gone. I said, Lord, we don't want nothing. Honey, we don't want nothing. Honey, even though I'm on here speaking real good, honey, we don't want nothing. We want to feel good. That's what we want. We want to feel good. We want to feel good. So like I said earlier, um... I'm praying for mine, and I know you guys are praying for mine. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I'm never going to downgrade anybody who is sick or whatever the case, but what I do want you to understand is please understand the teachings and the fundamentals of let's do better with our lives. I said this as I was leaving out last year. When we was leaving out of 2018, coming, I mean 2017, coming over to 2018, I said this. What's up, Bishop McIntosh? How you doing? Good morning. I said this last year. I said, watch your mouth, 2018. I said that. I said that. But see, we don't want to watch our mouth. We don't want to watch our mouth. We keep saying things and doing things. Baby, we get sick. And again, we look for the Lord to heal us. And I, ha I, I as I was moving and I was loading the U-Haul truck on last week, I just, oh, I'm good. It's good to hear that. Good, good, good. Love you so much. You know I do. What's up, Pedro? What's up? Good morning. I uh, love you, Bishop. You know I do. You know I do. Um, as I was packing the truck on last week and I was loading it up to, to get on the truck. Hey, Kia, good morning. Hey, Miss Natasha. Brian, y'all, good morning. So I was packing the truck up last week to get ready to load it up and take it to the storage and stuff like that. Um, and I had to... I had to take down my bed, my king size bed, and load my furniture. I couldn't lay in my bed no more. Anyways, <laughs> as I loaded the furniture in the truck to put in the storage to come back here, I just began to think. The Lord didn't speak to me. There wasn't no mysterious being that came and just said some good words to me. No. The thought just came to my mind. It was just like, we do a lot of things. I saw that today. Emeritus, I saw that. And I'm, y'all, I'm so happy. He is a second time cancer survivor. That's amazing. That's, that's, that's enough to praise the Lord for. Um, I thought about how we pray and we have prayer vigils and we do all of this stuff. You hear me? Hey, Brian. Hey, Julian. We do all of these things. Honey, we, we get out here. Baby, we have prayer meetings even on Facebook. Uh, We do all of this stuff. Baby, we get down and we get the Shondo. Uh, Shondo Bosi. And I told y'all about that Shondo Bosi. Hey, Miss Dana. I told y'all. Baby, we get to speaking stuff over our life. And then when stuff goes array, then it's like, what the world? What's up, Brian? Good morning. All my Brian's coming on this morning. Well, come on in. Come on in the room. And we get to praying, but then we go out and do the same thing again. I thought about how we get to praying to the Lord. Lord, heal me. Fix me. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. We do all of these things. What's up, Jerry? I'm behaving today. We ask him to do all of these things. What's up, Terrell? We ask him to do all of these things. And yet and still, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Now, now again, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that I'm putting my own self out here. What's up, Paul? Good morning. I'm fat. I was walking to the nail shop last night, and ironically, they were closed. 
and I looked in the mirror. I said, wait a minute, do I have man boobies? Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I said, wait, I ain't got boobies. I said, this is bad chest, but we not going to have no boobies. Hey, Audrey, good morning. I said, we not going to have no boobies. What's up, Beanie? We not going to have no boobies. So I said, man, we got to get back. Oh, Lord, my stuff is getting hard. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get let me get this together. Put some paddles up right there. What's that? Woo! What a bit. Hold on. I don't want to be up here helping the people out this morning. Trying to get they Ooh, baby. What's that? Woo! This weird blowing on me, babies. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Trent? Oh. <laughs> So I look hey W <laughs> Um I um I said I gotta get my butt in the gym. I gotta get my butt in the gym. Why? Because I said I refuse to be big or fat or whatever. I mean that's me. That's me. I don't wanna be a certain size. Baby, I got when I tell you I got three boxes of blazers. And 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 uh, boxes of clothes and all this other stuff. I got boxes, and I said, Lord, I got to get back down to my weight. I got to get back down to a certain size because I won. I refuse to keep buying stuff. So what I got to do? I can't sit up here like this crazy woman did. Said we rebuke fat right now. We rebuke this stomach demon, baby. That's not a demon. That's cellulite. That's fat. That's obesity. That's weight. That's you putting it, that fork to your mouth. I said your mouth. That's you putting. That's you putting that fork to your mouth, and and you not putting it down. You maybe you need to fast a little bit. Maybe you need to sit up here and 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 uh uh push the plate away a little bit. Maybe you need to go outside and go run. Go run. Okay. Go go run. Do something. Go do that. Go do that. Don't you can't pray the fat away. You you first of all, listen. <laughs> you can't pray cancer away. I mean, you have got to do something with your life. And don't and don't let's not take away from the fact. Yes, we serve a miracle worker. Yes. I know, Audrey, I know. You cannot sit up here and expect. The wonderful deity power and the, you know, the, the creator to just come and do everything for you. It's not, excuse me. It's not going to happen like that. It's, listen, this is the problem with us now. This is the problem with us now. We are spoiled. Americans are spoiled. You go to these third world, we go to third world, third world countries. These third world countries, baby, even our poorest have it the best. Okay, we out here praying, God, heal the land. Heal the land. I mean, we cranking that motor up. We run, we cranking it up. But yet and still, we choose, we pray, and we say, Father, heal. But what are you doing to take advantage of the healing we say father touch touch my son touch my daughter get them off crack cocaine and everything like that but what are you doing to help the situation the wait a minute did that thing move wait a minute uh -uh. whoa wait a minute right, i'm good <laughs> Close my double line. Like so we've got to take advantage of what we're supposed to be doing. We got to take advantage of what we're supposed to be doing. I ain't gonna shake too much because you know my chest is just gotta be. I gotta tighten these. Oh, they're tight. They tight now. All right. Praise God. I had to put the muscles on. Praise Him. <laughs> Hey, Anel, good morning, good morning. Bishop, I know, I'm a mess. Y'all, 
Y'all pray for me as I pray for myself. Everybody else who don't know the words of prayer. Don't know the words of prayer. Hey, Keith. Good morning, Keith Lloyd. Good morning. What's up, William? Is it William? Oh, no. That's William from Minnesota. Um, <clears throat> So, we've got to do better. I I'm tired of every time I turn around, I see a new post on Facebook talking about somebody got canceled. Wanda Suss got canceled. Hey, Antonessa, good morning. Good morning. That's my classmate. Antoine Nessa, good morning. Um, I'm tired of seeing that, y'all. We have a responsibility. All my souls, you have a responsibility. Baby, there's too much medicine out here for you to be taking for you to not get the church canceled. Okay, just I'm saying. You want to live long, baby, I'm going to need you to go. I'm, I'm talking good. I'm talking better than y'all responded. <clears throat> if you want to live long, baby, I'm going to need you to go out there and, and learn. I, I, hey, wait a minute. I brought the blue bag. <laughs> I brought the blue bag. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got the blue bag right here somewhere. I got the blue bag. Baby, there's too, there's too many things for you to take advantage of and you're not taking advantage of that uh, you don't want to be sick well babe I'm going to need you to put a, a condom on uh, you don't want to have cancer I'm going to need you to look at your eating habits and look at uh, what you're doing and think there's always preventatives and I know I know some people just get it and they've been doing things right the entire time but if you get it, hey, Dante, if you get it and you've been doing everything right, you know, in Ecclesiastes, the Bible says this too also, that everybody's going to get caught in a snare at some point in time in their life. So, baby, if you've been doing your best your entire life and you've been eating right, doing right, living, whatever the case may be, and you just happen to get sick, baby, that's one of those cases. That out of everything that I've done, I happen to have gotten sick. Baby, I don't blame God. But what I can say is, I did my part. Did that make sense to somebody? Baby, I did my part. I did my part. I ate right. I did right. I loved everybody. I tried to make sure all the hatred was out of my heart. <clears throat> Every generational curse that might that might have been attached to me, hey Patricia, that might have been attached to me or shoulda, coulda, woulda, baby, I wanted to make sure that I cleaned all that up. And as much as of a good person I try to be, I know that I'm gonna do something wrong, and something happened to me in my life. Okay, then I go back and I get to praying, and I say just as Hezekiah did, uh, I turn my face to the wall, Father, Father. Father, now I've been living right for a long time. Been living right for a long time, and I've been doing my best to be my best. And now, ironically, I done got sick. Hey, Walt, good morning. Hey, Samuel, good morning. Good morning. Ironically, I done got sick. Father, I need your healing power. Matter of fact, I'm going to call him by his name because I need to get your attention. I don't need to get the attention of Horus. I don't need to get uh, Jesus. I don't need to get uh, 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 Zeus attention. I don't need to get Hades attention. I want to call the God of all the gods. Yahweh, I need your help. Okay? What's up, AJ? Yeah, I need your help. I've been working hard. Doing my best to live right. What's up, twin? Hey, Demario. I've been doing my best to live and to eat and do. And I done got sick. And as I continue on living and doing my best to be my best, to eat right, to live right, to do right, I need your healing power to take over my life. So as I take my end to the doctor, as I take my end to the doctor, I'm going to get better. I'm going to do what I got to do. So anyways, y'all, I just got on to say that I, I appreciate all y'all love today. Please share this video with somebody who needs to hear this because what King is going to always tell you the what? The truth. Because uh, I, I, I just can't, I can't be out here lying to the people 
and um and we'd be out here with the fake shh. We not gonna do that. Anyways, um, I love y'all. I really do. Again, pray for mine. You know, Auntie is in the hospital right now, and um, family is a mess. You know, her kids are a mess, and um, we pray that the Lord has His way. You know, I can pray a prayer, and let me say this for all family folks. <laughs> I can pray a prayer. Father, join us together again. Love together again. Oh, help us be one, Lord. Oh, ba 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 sha. Oh, beyond the hookaraman site. Oh, lobster. Red lobster. Red tail catfish. Thank you. Oh, ba sike. Oh, ba sa ba sa ba sa ba sa ba sa. I could do all this stuff right here, right? Hey, Matthew. I could do all of this stuff right here. But if your family don't want to get together and they still have arts that they still have not gotten together and wanted to fix themselves and want to love on each other and carrying on. What's up, Arf? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Vega. Um, All of these things. Baby, if your family don't want to get together and they really don't want to kumbaya, kumbaya, my lord, they don't, they don't really want to kumbaya, they're, how, there's no point in you praying. You hear me? Thank you, Demario. Thank you, Twin. Matthew, baby, you got to come back on. Because eh? I'm not going to go back over it. Baby, if your family don't want to get it together, and somebody's still mad at this one because they stole this one's food stamps, and they mad at this one because somebody stole somebody's man, and all, honey, we can't come together because of all of that, and all these things. Hey, Patsy, and we can't say, hey, listen, I'm sorry. I was a mess. You a mess. You lie. I lie. You stole some. Well, ironically, I stole some too. You stole a man. Well, I stole a man. Well, I stole a woman. How if we can't do that? What's up, Josh? If we can't do that, like, I mean, we're not going to make it. And heaven forbid, Father, y'all going to church and y'all doing all this stuff in church. And yet, still you have hatred in your heart. This is what causes generational curses. And I was telling my cousin this the other day. I was like, why is it that this side of the family don't fool with this side of the family and that side don't fool with that side? Honey, it's generational things. And then now, the next generation is talking about, so why auntie them don't like? Well, I guess I ain't gonna like them either because I, honey, auntie them. See, that's generational stuff. That's generational stuff. Honey, we hate each other and don't even know why. And ironically, the reason why auntie don't like uncle or, or, or uncle don't like other uncle over here is because of something that they done did. And so now we didn't grew up. We didn't grew up. Mm -hmm. We didn't grew up with hatred in our hearts for stuff that ain't got nothing to do with us. Ain't got nothing to do with us. So what I've learned to do is I've learned to love on my cousins. I've learned to, hey, when we, when we, going, when we getting together, when we going bowling. When we gonna have us a uh, drunk Jango, okay? When, when we gonna have us a little party? When we gonna get together and have a a real prayer meeting? Like we we won't change. When we gonna when we gonna come together and just eat, just talk, lie, <laughs> have fun? When we gonna do something? Because that's what we supposed to do as family. Friends and family. That's what we're supposed to do. Honey, y'all having friends and family day at your church. Hey, kitty. Y'all having... That's Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Y'all having friends and family day at your church, but you don't get together with your friends or your family. So what's the purpose of friends and family day? What's up, Leonard? What's the purpose of friends and family day? Nigga, you don't talk to these folks on a regular. What's up, Kenan? You don't talk to these niggas on a regular, so why are we having friends and family day again? I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> Tab, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be on one today. But, um, seriously. Seriously, like, this is generational stuff. Honey, it ain't just cancer. And church cancer is not a generational thing. It's a mindset. It's something that you can take advantage of. Yes, the church cancer. Honey, you know, you I honey, the, the children's is out here catching the cancer. And I did say catching it. Honey, you catching the cancer. 
because you don't want to catch this protection. <laughs> and you don't want to catch this protection. You don't want to catch a prep pill. You don't want to catch a good condom. Lube. Y'all want to spitting and carrying on and all this other stuff and licking and don't nobody walk. Oh, okay, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother video. A whole nother video. A whole nother video. I'm preaching better than y'all responding. That's all right. But y'all, like seriously, I pray for the ones who are actually out here sick and going on and stuff like that because we really do need healing. Honestly, we really do need healing in our land. We really do. We really do need healing in our land. Mario, the Christmas gift that keeps on giving. Yes, that's it. The Christmas gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Either that's my mama on, because I know that's not my grandma. <laughs> Oh, that's my uncle on one of them. Um, but yeah, y'all, we got to do better. What's up, Shantae? Uh, anyways, y'all. So, um, yeah, let's 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 keep our loved ones lifted in prayer and let's go on from there. I appreciate all of y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming on. Make sure y'all share the video, um, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll be on a little later and I'll talk to you soon. Love you.